Hello everybody and welcome into another Dino Tracker review here on Jurassic Collectibles. Tonight is one I'm excited to get into. We have got the four latest danger packs from Mattel to take a look at, courtesy of uh, Jurassic Toys here in the UK. So we've got the Nophosaurus, the new version of the Brachiosaurus, the Elaphrosaurus and the Ostroraptor. And each of these is based on a different biome, which is absolutely awesome. So three out of the four animals here haven't been seen on screen. This particular version of the Brachiosaurus hasn't appeared on screen. Uh, the Nophosaurus obviously appeared in Camp Cretaceous. So we will start with taking a look at that. And as you can see, we get the gorgeous, gorgeous packaging treatment for the Dino Trackers branding here on the Wild Packs. We get Blue and Beta. We get this absolutely gorgeous backdrop of the ocean with a little oil refinery. This is an aquatic creature, so it gets the ocean backdrop. And you can see on the back of the packaging, we have the usual legal information. We have Dino Trackers in the top corner explaining how to access the scan code and all in all the packaging of these is gorgeous the different biomes add so much to these packs in my opinion and i am really really happy that mattel decided to use dino trackers as their branding for the new line of toys now if we just cut the nophosaurus out of the packaging here there we go nice and simple you can see again the rest of that car back there looks absolutely wonderful. And then here we have the Nophosaurus out of the packaging. Now this is an animal from Camp Cretaceous so as you can see it has got the slightly exaggerated facial features, the very animated-esque eyes, the uh, very unique jaw just there. You can see it opens up looks pretty terrifying actually could quite easily be something out of a horror film in my opinion uh, it closes up very nicely as you can see just there and then for the rest of the figure's body it's quite smooth actually surprisingly smooth to give it more of that aquatic feel you can see there is some texture work packed in but the paint applications are very, very smooth on this one. And so it all blends together very, very nicely from a distance. Now the Nophosaurus is a quadruped, as you can see, so it can stand quite nicely. We get the gorgeous Gallimimus neck joint that lets it go up and down very effectively. We get swivels at each of the legs and also a swivel at the tail just back here as well. And I have to admit, as far as renditions of this animal go, this is the first time we've received one in the Mattel line, and I'm pretty happy with it. I'd have to look at Camp Cretaceous again to see this animal and see just how accurate it is, but I don't think this is a bad rendition at all. As you can see just there, we do get the Dino scan code, which you can scan just there. And overall, the Nophosaurus is a very cool addition to the assortment. Very, very glad they finally got around to making this one. Now next, we'll go for the uh, repaint, but not just a repaint. This is actually a slight retool. So this is the baby Brachiosaurus. As you can see here, it comes in this sort of reddish brown colour scheme with white highlights on the head. We won't look at the back of the packaging again this time, we'll just cut it open and take a quick look at the packaging. Uh, this one comes on a forest style backdrop, so I think there's about four or five different backdrops they are using. You can see this one has got like a uh, almost redwood sauna-esque forest behind it, which is very cool. I may actually try and preserve one of each backdrop because they look that awesome. Now the baby Brachiosaurus is a sculpture that is familiar to many of us, um, but what we won't have seen beforehand 
is these bumps on it, which are very reminiscent of the bumps on the Jurassic Park Triceratops. Now these are a really cool new inclusion. They could have just decided to repaint the baby Brachiosaurus as it was, but they didn't. They opted to actually add some new sculpting to this figure, and I really do appreciate that. We get these nice like white almost off cream highlights and then you get the same kind of white off cream highlights on the head. The great sharp paintwork that we've come to expect from baby Brachiosaurus figures, this is no less cute than the other two versions we have received. And overall I'm glad I picked this one up. I mean I'm never really one who is massive on repaints or retools but when it comes to baby Brachiosaurs can you really have enough of them in the collection? We do get the same range of motion that we got on the other baby Brachiosaurus, as you can see just here. And also, this one, the retool, does mean that this is now hidden inside, although I think it was hidden inside on the last version we had anyway. You can see the little Jurassic World logo on one side, and on the other side your scan code. And that is the Baby Brachiosaurus, a surprising retool and a really, really nice version of an animal which we have seen before. Now I'm not going to go to my favourite one, I'm going to go to the other new figure first, which is the Elaphrosaurus. And anyone who knows me will know that I'm not a massive fan of particularly vibrant colours on my dinosaurs, so this isn't one that really appealed to me but I'm excited to look at it in hand and there is some really interesting texture work throughout this particular dinosaur. So we will once again cut this one off of the card just here, cutting in a couple of places where we won't make contact with the plastic. And you can see the backdrop for this one is a river. So this is like a swampy, ferny river deep in a rainforest somewhere. Again, another really, really cool backdrop and another reason why I love Dino Trackers so much. Just imagining where these animals may have existed or where they may be in the modern world is really, really cool. And then the Elaphrosaurus, as you can see just here, is a really unique looking animal. If we bring it a bit closer, take a look at that head sculpt. You can see the head sculpt has got like the th uh, almost spikes coming out the back. Looks really, really unique. It's got a really unique style for the jaw as well. Almost feels like a terror bird in many ways. Looks really, really cool. You've got like lots of details around the neck. You've got this lime green color that runs through the body of the figure. You've got lots of bumps and texture work throughout. You can see them just catching the light there. Some real nice detail in this figure that really helped to make it pop. You can see, again, some of the fantastic sculpt work throughout. This green highlight here does work really well in terms of getting the details to actually pop on this particular figure. You've got the bumps that are running down the back. And all in all, I think this is a really, really cool figure. It may actually be a terror bird. The more I look at it, the more I think it is. Let me know in the comments below what type of dinosaur the Elaphrosaurus was. This is a really cool new one to me, actually. I really like the paint apps we've got around the eye. That sort of silver sliver there looks really fantastic. And there is some really cool detail for the claws as well, just there. And then obviously the feet as well. So a cool, unique new animal. Uh, in terms of the range of motion, we can open up the jaw quite nice and wide. We get the neck that is on a ball joint and a swivel, so we can Swivel it around, ball joint it back and forth. The arms that are on a swivel, legs that are on a swivel, and tail that is on a swivel. And the Elaphrosaurus, as far as unique animals go, pretty high up there on the list, if you ask me. A cool figure to include in this wave. Okay, and then we move on to my absolute favourite figure, the Ostroraptor. Now, I love versions of raptors of all shapes and sizes anyway. I love when we step away from the traditional velociraptor, uh, and this is a really cool looking figure. However, before we look at this one, I have just realized we didn't look at the Elaphrosaurus's scan code. So let's just pop that up, as you can see just there. 
then let's jump back into the excitement. You can tell I'm excited for this one because I tried to hurry into it. Um, so this one comes on the deserty backdrop. So this could go with the uh, capture and smash truck set, which is quite cool in itself. And this is a dinosaur that has got a gorgeous colour scheme. You can see in the backdrop there, we get the rocks, we get the sort of sandy environment. And then to match up to that, the cool colour scheme of the Ostraraptor is this sandy colour complete with brown highlights. So you can see there the head. So much paint, some really, really nice paintwork for those orange highlights next to the eyes. And the brown does fade away in places to give you some additional patterning as well, which looks fantastic. The brown then streaks down into the body and the body has some really, really nice sculpting. You've got almost feathers coming out of the arms. You've got little bumps, little creases all throughout the bodywork. Really nimble finger claws. You can see there they look like they could easily pin some prey down. Then you do get the sickle claws at the bottom alongside the very muscular legs. And then the colour sort of drains away, but there is a nice marbly pebbled effect throughout the figure, so it doesn't feel particularly plain. And I just think from a sort of visual perspective, the really long elongated snout, the longer neck and the body give this figure a really unique profile. It reminds me of something akin to a Truodon. When we put the arms down, you can see again, it has that really forward facing sort of aggressive pose. And I really, really like this one. Again, that head sculpt is really where it's at. We can open the jaws up nice and wide, get a good range of motion out of them. You can see we can go to different points. We get the really, really nice Gallimoma style joint in the neck. We get the swivel at the arms, the swivel at the legs, and the swivel at the tail as well. And really, what more could we ask for from a raptor? This is such a cool, unique rendition of a Veloci or, or, or of an Ostroraptor anyway. Um, <laughs> don't want to get my raptors confused. And I am just really, really happy with this one. This is one I was very excited for. Does not disappoint out of the box. The orange eye really does pop. Looks absolutely fantastic. And this one is, again, a part of the Dino Fax app, so we can swivel it round and scan it in. And with that said, that is all four figures from this assortment. We have got the Ostroraptor, the Elaphrosaurus, if I can balance it, the Brachiosaurus, and then lastly, the Nophosaurus. So four really, really cool danger packs for this assortment in the Dino Trackers line. I really like the Elaphrosaurus, actually. I think the sculpt is very unique. The Ostroraptor lives up. The Nophosaurus, fantastic to get an animal from Camp Cretaceous in this assortment. And then the Brachiosaurus has a nice retool that makes it worth picking up. I would certainly recommend this set if you are a collector. Uh, if you're looking for these, they are available in the UK right now, and they are slowly starting to pop up stateside. With all of that said, guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this review. Make sure to like, favourite, and subscribe. And until the next video, take care and have a great week.